Hey everyone, welcome back. I've got a quick update for you about Google Stadia. Apparently, the Stadia app has been updated to now allow you to use the Google Assistant. So let me show you how to do that really, really quick. Here's my phone. Uh, you're gonna open up your Stadia app and on the very top, you're gonna tap your little icon there. And on this, it's gonna open up your profile. And if you scroll down, there's a, a button called Google Assistant. You tap on that. And then right on the top, it says enable assistant button on Stadia controllers. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that button. And it says enable assistant, I'm sorry, enable Stadia controllers to connect to the Google assistant in Stadia when you press the Stadia assistant button, which is on the controller right there in the middle. I don't have enough fingers to point at it, but there you go. That's as good as I can do. Uh, early access. For now, you can use the assistant on the, on the Stadia home, I'm sorry, you can use the assistant on the Stadia home screen on TV. Soon you'll be able to use it while playing games as well as in the Stadia app and the website. What to try? Play Destiny 2. How's the weather? Roll the dice. Let's go ahead and try these things out. Now that I've turned it on, uh, I am going to connect my controller and we'll switch over to a different screen. So we've got my Chromecast here and my controller is connecting. And it should pair automatically in a second. If not, I have to hit the B, X, Y, Y. There we go. It seems like it's working. By the way, if you didn't know, I've got a podcast called Stadia Cast, which you can find uh, recorded right here live on Sunday mornings or wherever podcasts are downloaded. So make sure that you check that out. I'm going to go ahead and pick Bill, my account. Don't Bill, my account. I'm going to pick my account, Bill. There we go. That's a little bit better. And it's, it's loading up. Someday. There we go. All right. So now we have loaded everything up. And let's try it out. I'm going to hit this button. Do I have to hold the button? Maybe I have to hold the button. Try again. The assistant had a bit of trouble. Oh, no. Oh, how can I help? <laughs> All right. Well, that's not what I meant. Try saying, tell me a riddle or what's the definition of serendipity? All right. Let's let's try playing Destiny 2. Play Destiny 2. Oh, there was a glitch when trying to talk to the server. Uh, I've been getting this uh, network error every once in a while, and basically what it makes me do is reboot Stadia. Um, so I'm going to reboot Stadia, and we'll shut down Stadia. We'll turn it back on. We'll see what happens. Usually when this happens, what I have to do is open up my phone and start the app from there. I'm not sure what is causing this, and I've been a bad uh, a bad tester, and I've not actually reported this to Stadia, given them the feedback. Which, by the way, if you did not know, there is a feedback button right in your Stadia app. So if you go back to your Stadia app and you tap on this, uh, this little, for me, it's a little dinosaur, it's your avatar. You tap on that avatar right there, and then you scroll down, there is a feedback button for you to hit that feedback button and then you can put that information right in there. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, though, although I, I should do it later. All right, let me turn my Stadia controller back on. And now it's going to try pairing. We'll see if this works. Uh, listen, I, I've been called a shill for Google Stadia. I've been called a hater for Google Stadia. One thing that you know is that it's always going to be honesty from me. If things don't work well, I'm going to point that out. If things work well, I'm going to point that out as well. We're having trouble connecting, but try again in a few minutes. What the heck? There we go. Um, sometimes I wonder if this is what's going on on my network right now. So like right now, my son is probably downstairs watching YouTube and playing Fortnite uh, at the same time. My niece is probably down there doing the same thing. So, or well, probably not the Fortnite part, but probably watching YouTube or TikTok or whatever. All right, we've got it open. Let's give it another shot. I'm going to I'm going to hit the the assistant button. Oh, this is 
this th this was just blinking white. I wonder if I was not quite connected yet. Play Destiny 2. Oh, it seems like it might work. Now, what would be really cool is if I could ask the Google Assistant, um, where do I go for this quest? Because Destiny 2's questing system is incredibly convoluted and very difficult to wrap your head around. Um, but overall, this seems to work really well. What other things did it say? Uh, I know it said check the weather, but that's going to give out my location, so I'm not going to do that. Um, what other things did it say? Uh, roll the dice. Uh, I think that that's just default Google Assistant stuff. But we will see. All right. Well, it looks like we're in. Um, you know what I should do? All right. Here, here's here's a thing that we can test. Uh, okay. I don't care about that. So let me look at my my stats here. Oh, my God. Get all this stuff off my screen. Get away. Here we go. All right. So uh, in Destiny 2, we've got a bunch of different stats, right? And I wonder what mobility does. So what if I hold down the assistant button and see what it does? The assistant isn't available in games yet. Try on the homepage. So, okay, it's still a work in progress. We're not going to be able to say, hey, how do I do this? Uh, but, you know, I, I, I think that slowly they are rolling out features. Honestly, I'm surprised that this feature came out today. I'm a little concerned at how it didn't work very well, but that also, it might be what's going on on my network right now. But anyway, uh, that's how you get it turned on. And um, let's, oh, I got to go back to the, let me close the game down. Uh, exit game. And let me see what else we can try. Um, anything else about the game? Uh, how about this? Start a party. To see who's online, view the status of your controller, or check your internet connection, press the Stadia button on your controller. Okay. Um, let's see, what else can I ask? What does mobility do in Destiny 2? According to Destiny 2 Wiki, mobility is a stat. It determines your movement speed and initial jump height. It is similar to agility of Destiny 1. Okay, this is really cool because once it's available in games, being able to hit that button and look it up is going to be fantastic. So I'm going to start Destiny 2 back up and I would have to go looking all over for, for that bit of information to figure out what the different stats do. Um, what kind of things do you think would be a good uh, ability for that button to what, what 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 do you think that that should do? What are some cool ideas that you have? For those of you that don't know, Google has said specifically that they watch our channel, that they listen to our podcast. So if you've got ideas, put them in the comment section down below and let them know this is how we should use this button. Give them as many ideas as possible. Okay, before I wrap up the show, uh, I'm just going to show you all of the steps that I would have to go through in order to find out what mobility does in Destiny 2. And being able to just hold down that button and check is really, really cool. All right, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to click on um, where, you know what, I don't even remember. Okay, well, I, I guess it's not as, I thought I saw it someplace else. Maybe it was gear stats? Nope. Uh, but I could have moused over it instead of asking it with uh, with a voice command. But, uh, you know, I might not know to mouse over it. I never noticed that these were even here before, these little numbers. But now I know. Knowing's half the battle. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you, that you found this uh, useful. If you did, hit that like button and uh, let everybody know that you really like this stuff. And uh, come back. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you get notifications. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.